So Scooby-Doo and the Loch Ness Monster was clearly a run-of-the-mill Scooby-Doo episode. There was nothing really special about that episode, let's be honest. However, that can't be said about the Scottish accents because they were terrible. Dinner is served. I've prepared a traditional Scottish dinner for you. So you'd all get a good taste of the Highlands. Honestly, I just don't get why they didn't ask Scottish people to do a Scottish accent for this film. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I think apart from the Scottish accent, I do believe this was just a run-of-the-mill episode. Nothing really wrong with it. It was fine. And no other problems with it, in my opinion. And I think it was great seeing the gang investigate such a legend and uh, a myth up until this point of the Loch Ness Monster. Is it real? Is it a myth? Is it a legend? What is it? And it was great to see the gang investigate that when it returned in the Highland Games. And I think that, for me, weren't a bad idea. However, it just felt like every other Scooby-Doo episode. However, the story was predictable because we knew the Loch Ness Monster wasn't going to be real. It was going to be controlled by somebody. But who? And the only person that really stood out in the whole room was Fiona because she actually believed in the Loch Ness Monster. Everybody else was like sceptics. They didn't believe it, they, they thought it was a home myth and nothing was truly remotely real about it. And that's what sort of lets the movie down in a way because you could see where the movie was heading all along and it was pretty obvious who was behind it when it was revealed to be Professor Pembroke and Agnes and Colin being behind it all. And I do believe that let it down a little bit because it was pretty obvious who the major villain was because he wanted to try to get the sceptic to believe in its authenticity. Before we jump back into this video, guys, please do us a massive favor and smash that subscribe button because you do not want to miss a thing this week, next week, and the week after because we've got tons and tons of content planned for you guys and you can do us a massive favor by smashing that subscribe button, joining the community, getting updates to all the latest videos from the YouTube shorts to the actual videos. It is well worth it, completely free, and you will not regret it. So to summarize this movie then, for me, it's a 6.9 out of 10. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments down below. Is it good, bad, terrible, amazing? Let us know all that jazz down in the comments down below. And also, if you haven't seen our Return to Zombie Island Scooby-Doo episode movie review, check that out right now.